Hello, so for this video, we're going to go over uh, the extrude exercise in the part design section. So go ahead and click on this. And here I have my extrude section. So in this case, I clicked on this area here with feature creation and extrude. And we're going to go ahead and create this feature here. So we'll follow these steps. Oops, we'll follow these steps and we'll just go ahead and create. All right, so you should have another tab open with your new document. If you haven't done so yet, you should create it here. Go to the document section, create document, and then you should be here. All right, so we're going to create our sketch on our top plane. So I go ahead and click on top. Let's just orient this to show the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on sketch. Now for step two, we're creating a corner rectangle with our origin, um, well, with our top right of the rectangle being at the origin. So here we are, go ahead and create it, click and drag, and there it is at the origin. Okay, now for the following step, we're going to just connect the two midpoints from the left side and the bottom side of the triangle. So we click on line, find my midpoint, and there it is. And there is my other midpoint. All right, and I escape. Next part, we're just adding dimensions. So go ahead and click on, where is it at? Here it is, dimensions. And in this situation, I just wanna make sure that everything is in inches. Right now this is in meters. So I'm going to go ahead and click on document menu, workspace units, and I'm changing this to inches. All right, now let's try that one more time. So notice I unselected my sketch. So now I'm gonna click, right click on sketch one, click edit, and let's change this value to five. We go back, our right side will be three inches. Let's go ahead and add a three. That's good to go. We click accept, so we accept it. Step five, now this is where we extrude our feature. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So notice we need it to be, to have a thickness of 1.25 inches or depth of that. All right, um, so I'm going to change the orientation so we can see this happen. And notice we are only extruding this feature here, not this little triangle area. So let's exclude this. So let's click here, right click or click with your fingers if you don't have a mouse. Edit sketch, we're gonna click on extrude. Actually, here we are, I need to make sure I click on this area. If not, it'll include do this and it'll extrude that. So let's undo that. So here we go, extrude. And we want it to be 1.25 inches. Point upwards, that's good. That's where this is going. And let's see if we flip it, it goes downwards. So we want to go in up. All right, so that's good to go. Now for step six, we're selecting the back side of the sketch plane. All right, so let's go to the back. Here's this area. And now we are going to create a sketch. All right, so one issue here is that we're creating this angle or this diagonal line which will end up having our object which will look like this okay so we need to make sure we get this angle or my bad this diagonal line facing this other diagonal here all right so we're going to have that diagonal in this area here so just recall that all right so in this situation we're creating this but we want to flip this and the reason why we want to flip this is because we want this angle, the diagonal, going out this way. So let's try it out. So here we are. Go up to the side. And I don't care about dimensions right now. I just want to make sure these items connect. And there it is. So notice it looks flipped, but you have to do it this way. And you'll see why it's pretty soon. Let's go to the next slide. All right, so now for this portion, let's go ahead and do our construction lines first, and then we'll do our circle. So we're going to click on line, and we want to connect the line from this point all the way across. We want to make sure it's horizontal. 
and perpendicular. So this little, one of those little items right there means that it's perpendicular to this vertical. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and escape. Now we add another circle and we're doing it from the midpoint of the top. So let's find the midpoint. There it is. So now we go downwards and we stop there. All right, now as far as the circle goes, we just need a circle. We don't care about the sizes, we'll reconfigure. Okay, so now for the construction lines, go, let's go ahead and click on these two lines and click on this feature here, construction. And there it is. All right, and remember the construction lines, these are just um, like little sketches. They don't really interact. They, they don't come out in the actual drawing at the end. All right, so for number nine, we're just making sure we have all of these constraints. So to show the constraints, make sure you're in the sketch. And if you ever exit out of this, oops, oh, restore, there we go. Just click on this, edit, and then show constraints. And we have all the constraints that we need. We can compare back here. So we are good to go. All right, now for dimensions. Okay, so we're gonna um, increase the height of this to 2.5. So let's go ahead and do that. So I go to Smart Dimensions, I click on this side, and this is at 2.5 inches. Now this other side is at 4 inches. A little bit taller. All right. Oops. Let's go to the back side again. All right, here we are. So now for this length up here, we don't really care about this one, but now for this angle, you're going to go ahead and click on this line and then this line here, and we get our angle. And we want this to be at 30 degrees, as shown here. And now for the circle, go ahead and click on that. And we want this to measure 1.25. There we go. And it looks like we are good. We accept all of these changes. And there it is. Now let's go back to step 11. Now we're going to extrude this object. Notice we want to click on this and we don't include this circle. So let's change this up a little bit. All right, so now let's go ahead and try this out. So once again, I'm clicking on this face and I click on extrude. And at the moment it's going in the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and flip that. We want it to have a depth of one inch. That's good to go. Check it. And we are not done yet. So notice in the final section, this whole item is combined. All right, so we're gonna go back, click edit. We're gonna click add and merge with part one and we accept it. So now this is a combined feature and you can go ahead and check your mass properties by clicking on part one and click on mass properties to check your work so you guys can actually put in an answer for the next question. That's pretty much it. Good luck.